A number of years ago in Germany, a man gave to the world a new concept. It shook the scientific world from top to bottom, changed the course of human history, and gave us the atomic age. The man, Albert Einstein. The concept, relativity. That strange, fantastic relationship between time, distance, and mass. Now, an important part of that concept can be expressed in a simple equation. E equals mc squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. The equivalence of mass and energy. The basic formula that unlocks the secrets of the atom. But equally, if not more important, is that relationship between time and space. Now, we can't speak of the equivalence of time and space. They're not exactly equal. But we can say that they are relative, or they are all bound up together. Just obtuse theory, you say? Well, maybe so. But every day there is new concrete evidence to prove it true. When Dr. E.O. Lawrence and his associates at the University of California designed the 184-inch cyclotron, they didn't laugh at this theory. They accepted it as true, and it's a good thing they did. In the cyclotron, tiny particles are accelerated in magnetic and electrical fields until they approach the speed of light. This rotary condenser at the side of the cyclotron compensates for the increased mass of the particles which occurred exactly as Einstein had predicted it would. Let's suppose that at some day in the Buck Rogers future, you decide to take a trip to a planet satellite of the star Sirius. As long as we're supposing, let's say that your atom-powered rocket ship is capable of traveling at 99 and 99 million, 999,000, 999, 100 millionths percent of the speed of light. Now, of course, this is very close to 186,284 miles a second. In view of the fact that Sirius is nine light years from the Earth, it would take just a little over 18 years to make the round trip. Naturally, you'd plan to take a large supply of food, but all you'd need would be a sack lunch. Traveling at this speed, not only would your watch slow down by a factor of 70,000, but your heart, respiration, digestion, appetite, all would slow down in the same ratio. You could leave the Earth some morning right after breakfast. By the time you got to Sirius, you'd be ready for a sandwich. And when you got back to the Earth, you'd be just hungry enough for a good dinner. But then would come the surprise. You'd find that uh, while you were only one day older physically, your children would all be grown up and through college, and all your friends would be 18 years older than when you left them just 12 hours ago by your watch. A concept such as this is almost impossible for the human mind to grasp. It's so far beyond our normal experience.